Hey Switchers, how's it going? Kanan here and a big thank you for joining me for my review of Cyberhook. And before we get into it, why not hit that like and subscribe button if you want to be kept up to date with all my latest content. And if you want to get more involved, why not join us in our community discord, link is down below. And so let's see what Cyberhook has to offer. Gameplay. What's the story behind this one I hear you cry? Well, escape. I thank you. <laughs> Basically armed with a hook, a laser finger, and the ability to slow down time. And that's pretty well it really. The game does pretty good work at easing you into the game using this little character here, Mr. Robot we shall call him. And at the start he kind of like weans you into everything you need to be doing. And let's get into the actual inner workings of the game, shall we? Armed with a jump, a double jump, a laser finger, uh -huh, a hook, and the ability to slow down time. Wait, what? Okay. So there's many levels to the game and most are hard. Really, really hard. And each level is actually built to speedrun, hence the online leaderboards, hooray, thank you for that, and the timers when you're actually in the run. And trust me, there will be no time to smell the virtual flowers here. Each of the actual levels has a diamond rating, as to reach other stages you need a certain amount of them, hence why I have not completed the game yet, as it's really difficult to get many of these in a single run. In fact, on the later stages I kind of found it really difficult to get just one of them, let alone sort of like three. And as a really neat side thing, there's even the ability to show and watch replays, save them and see your best times. And I kind of like find this as a cool little thing, not that you'll be like replaying them to see where you can go better, or at least not me, I'm not that good. But I'm guessing those people that are good at this and kind of like are really into speedrunning, they'll probably use it as well. In fact, if you do that, leave it down in the comments if, if that's an actual thing. And while we're on the subject of speedrunning, there's even settings that you can like change things to make it easier and kind of like speed up things like removing the intro at the beginning and things like that. And I'm sure people will probably be using them and yeah, I'm sure they'll become useful to some people. Again, comment if this is your thing. Control wise, they were a little bit floaty, but they did what I needed them to do and they did them quite well. I don't really think there was any parts in the game that I thought, damn, that was the actual controls fault and not mine. Although to say that at the beginning I found them really fiddly and hard to get to grips at, after a while, a good hour, I kind of like got to grips with them and yeah, it kind of like becomes second nature after a bit. I like the fact that you can grab all the walls and also kind of like run up them and run like wall running type thing as well. That was pretty neat. The time slowing I didn't really use to start with at the very beginning of the game, but wow, I started using it later on to get those pinpoint like positionings. Shooting to start with was something that you just used to shoot these green crates just to like get past these like blockages. And then eventually you'll end up shooting like switches to change the color and therefore the grip ability of uh, certain platforms. And after that, you'll eventually move on to shooting enemies, which is also pretty cool. I will say that this game is that difficult. I haven't actually reached that point as each stage kind of like introduces you to something different. And as I said before, those diamonds are really difficult to get, or at least for me anyway. But it is hard in a challenging way, I have to say. It's not hard as in sort of like, well, at the moment I'm stuck on a level and I really can't get past it. But I've been there before with this game and eventually, uh, God knows how many tries later, I managed to get past it. The one thing I have learned from this game is at first I tried to like take my time, ease myself through it. But that just didn't work. It's kind of weird. It's the opposite to a lot of other games. 
I then tried to speed myself up kind of like just go for it type feeling and if you fail go back and do it again but trust me the best way of playing this game is to well embrace your inner spider-man graphically it's kind of one of those ones that look basic yeah, no other word of saying it really but it does actually have a kind of coolness about it as well i like the added little features like once you've done the slow-mo you kind of like click your fingers afterwards it's actually quite a nice little effect and kind of like the way you clench your fist as well that's pretty cool and that's not to mention the effect of actually speeding up and the slowdown effect it's, it's all pretty decent sound wise again it's the same it's kind of like got some neat little things within it the actual music's not too bad and kind of reflects the gameplay if you like and although there's not many different sounds here the sounds that are actually here because they match up with what you're actually doing do actually sound pretty cool the good it's hard but in a challenging way Online leaderboard, definitely a must for this sort of game. The replay option isn't my thing, but it's there and yeah, it adds extra content and I'm pretty sure some speedrunners are going to be using it. The extra things that they've added like clicking of fingers, the fist and all that lot, it's pretty cool and kind of like gives the game a bit more, well, substance really. And the sound that goes with them, definitely something I like. The bad. I did experience one small crash in the actual game which was I don't know whether it was my switch or the actual game so I've not really mentioned it but it was there again where the difficulty can be really difficult but in a good way it also kind of like stops me getting further in the game I wish there was some way of like I don't know progressing and not having the difficulty being a penalty as well the score Okay, so I rate games out of five. It's all my personal views. And let's find out whether Cyberhook is going to make it onto the Wall of Fame, the Wall of Shame, or maybe Hook itself somewhere in the middle. And taking into account that this is probably a speedrunner's wet dream, I'm going to give this a four out of five. There were some points here where I was going to give it a like high three out of five, but in the end and the further I get into it even after I've done the actual gameplay footage I kind of like like it even more and more and it's kind of like growing on me as I play it and as for an alternative to Cyberhook well I'm going to be suggesting speedrunners yes it's even got it in its title I know <laughs> clever okay I'm going to suggest speedrunners it's kind of like a load of superheroes that are trying to get to like wherever the hell they need to get to and it's four player you have to like speed along it's kind of like this game but like on a side view if you like and to be honest with you i don't think i've played anything like cyber hook on the actual nintendo switch so i'm kind of like finding it difficult to think of something to suggest to you but if you know anything yourself, leave it down in the comments. In fact, anything you want to leave about Cyberhook, leave it down in the comments because that's what they're there for. Also, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. Do me an immense favour, help the channel out and also be kept up to date with all my latest content. And if you want to go that extra mile then come join us in our community discord we're a load of friendly people we do like to chat and everything about our favorite things and about the nintendo switch because life is better when we switch together